I'm Cam Tech. Thanks for tuning in. One of the routine maintenance that's often overlooked are valve adjustments. I have in the garage today a 2007 Honda Rancher 420 and it's time for the valves to be adjusted. I'll share with you the tools you need and walk you through the process to complete this DIY routine maintenance. The steps and procedures we're going to go over are applicable to the 2007 to 2013 Rancher TRX 420s. So with that being said, let's get to wrenching. So the tools you'll need more than likely you have already, and they are three inch ratchet, half inch ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, 17 millimeter socket, five a spark plug socket, six millimeter Allen, 10 millimeter wrench, 24 millimeter wrench or 15 16 wrench, flat blade screwdriver, it could be a stubby length or regular length. Most importantly, you're gonna need a feeler gauge. And oh yeah, I may use this guy. My favorite ratchet. You don't need this though. It's just me being fancy. I'd be doing too much sometimes. Let's get into it. You're gonna to need to remove the side plastics and right mud guard. You'll have four bolts or clips on the back end, four bolts or clips on the front end, and underneath, you're gonna have two bolts that are, that are on the back, side, back end of the foot peg, and forward of the foot peg, you're gonna have two more bolts. Once you remove them, just slide out the mud guard, just like this. And set it aside. Now what you're going to do is remove the tank cover that's secured by four clips. There's two on this side and two on the opposite side. Let's remove this uh, gas cap wall first. Turn off the fuel pedcock and remove it with a Phillips screwdriver. So now what you're going to do is remove the fuel line off the fuel pump canister that leads to the tank and then also remove your pressure fuel line. So to prevent any dirt from going into the fuel pump canister, just got some painters tape here that I'm going to cover up the holes to prevent any dirt from getting inside. Just like that. The gas tank has two 10 millimeter bolts. Remove them. Remove your bleeder, I mean your breather hose. Remove your spark plug wire. So now we're gonna remove this shield that sits under the tank. But before we do, let's move the fuel line out the way. Now let's remove the spark plug. This would be a good time to change the spark plug or clean it before reinstalling it. Now use your 24 millimeter wrench or 15 16 to remove the valve cover caps. With your six millimeter Allen, let's remove the timing hole cap.
With a 10 millimeter wrench, let's remove the three bolts off the crank shaft cap. Choose a flat base screwdriver and just pop the cap off. There's a seal on it, so be careful that you don't lose a seal. It's right there. So in order to adjust the valves, the motor needs to be at top dead center, TDC. That's basically when the motor is at its compression point. So what you're looking at there is the crankshaft and where you're gonna put the 17 millimeter socket on your half inch ratchet and you're going to rotate the motor clockwise as you rotate the motor slowly look closely through the timing hole for the t mark which signifies that the motor is at top dead center tdc When at top dead center, the exhaust and intake rocker arms should have some play. Check the valve clearance by inserting the feeler gauge between the adjusting screw and the valve stem. Please note the measurements of clearance that I'm going over is to be performed on a cold engine. Clearance measurements are different when the engine is hot. What you're looking at there is the intake valve and I have the feeler gauge inside that is sitting between the adjuster screw and the valve. You'll need to have six thousandths of an inch on the intake valve. And in order to do that, if, if there isn't enough drag there, it's supposed to be a little drag. Mine has a little bit of drag. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna adjust it to be on the safe side. Take your 10 millimeter wrench, unlock, um, back off this uh, this nut. Okay, just a little bit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna back this screw up a little bit. Put your feeler gauge in there. The feeler gauge right in there. Back the screw off a little bit. And I got a little bit of drag right there. That's where I, where I want it. I'm gonna leave that feel of gauge in there right there. Take your 10 millimeter, put it on the nut, put your screwdriver through it to hold that screw in place because you don't want it moving on you when you're tightening it down. Let's repeat that step for the exhaust valve, but this time for nine thousandths of an inch of clearance. The valve measurement I'm going over is for the 2007 through 2013 Honda Ranger 420 models. If you have a different model or make, the valve clearance will probably be different. Refer to your power sport service manual to be sure. This is perfect. What you want is a little drag on the feeler gauge. If it's too tight, you risk the valve hitting the piston or too loose, the motor will tick or chatter. Okay, thus far everything's looking good. If you want, you could test start your machine for a few seconds before reassembling the motor. If you need to adjust the valves again, just repeat the steps after you reposition the motor at top dead center. TDC. I'm going to start the bike with the timing cover off as well as the crankshaft cap or crankshaft cover off. The valve covers are off. It's totally safe. I'm just going to start the bike just to check it so we don't have to tear it down again. Okay. So 
As you can see, the valve covers are off. We're gonna start the bike. Much better. So what we're gonna do is button this up um, and put all the plastics back on. And uh, yeah, watch me do this. Before reassembling all the caps, make sure they're clean and smear clean motor oil on the O-rings. And when you reassemble the valve caps, make sure you don't torque them too tight. Just make them snug. They're aluminum, so they can crack if you put too much torque on them. I really appreciate you watching and hopefully I successfully walk you through the steps of adjusting the valves in your machine. Most of the tools I use in this demonstration, I put an affiliate link in the description below. Feel free to click on it. Also, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment if this content was educational or entertaining. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or leave me a question in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, I promise. Now, I'm gonna speed up the video in regards to reassembly. Stick around to the end though, because I have a gift for you while supplies last. I'll tell you more about it shortly. Enjoy the music. Hey, it's greatly appreciated you watched the entire video. I currently have three of this Tusk Fuel Gauge to give away to three viewers. All you need to do is like, 
comment, and subscribe. And be sure to DM me if you really want this gauge. Yeah, for real, it's free. I'm not charging anything for it. I'm giving this to you because I'm just encouraging you as I've been encouraged by other YouTubers and other people in life in terms of doing things myself, DIY. So I'm just encouraging you to do the same. So there's no strings attached. I'll send it to you as long as you send me your information and make sure you fit the qualifications by liking and subscribing and commenting. All right. Thanks again. I'm going to hook you up. Don't worry about it. I'll cut you.